Britomart is a mini city inside Auckland CBD. Centered around the Britomart Transport Centre is a hub for over 30 restaurants, bars, cafes and shops. The immediate feeling I get when walking through this little city is a sense of history, creativity and a great community vibe. Speaking of community, I happened to stumble across the Farmer's Market, which is on every Saturday morning, right in the heart of Britomart itself. The Farmer's Market is home to fresh local produce, homemade goods, and of course, my favorite, the tastings. I could have spent the whole day at the markets, but I had a coffee day with Nat Cheshire, one of the designers in charge of maintaining the heritage of Britomart, while bringing it to the 21st century. What a perfect way to start the day, and not a better place to do it other than shaky aisles. With its fresh coffee and lifestyle setting, it was the ideal sit down to have a chat. So Nat, when you helped design a lot of these beautiful buildings in the Britomart, what was the concept behind it? Britomart is a sort of, as a piece of the city, as a precinct that's really defined by uh, the 15 or 20 or so heritage buildings that un unfold the place. So um, they deliver the place uh, a kind of a character and a richness and a depth and a soul that uh, the city doesn't really otherwise have in any one concentrated place. You know, it has a few pockets of it, but nothing with this kind of intensity. And so um, that's the starting point for everything. So where do you draw your inspiration from when you're approaching a project like this? Really, you don't need to look elsewhere for um, excitement, the buildings themselves. They deliver us this kind of incredibly powerful, robust spaces, big, tall, open spaces, beautiful bricks and plasters, and uh, sort of experiences that we don't really get of buildings in cities anymore. Um, and so the best we can hope for um, as architects is, is to kind of tap into some of the power of that and, and draw it back out into the sort of 21st century and play off um, all of that kind of new insertion, all of that kind of refinement and elegance against the robustness of that age. Nat led me loose to explore just what this mini city had to offer, and it couldn't have been easier to find my next stop. Just across from Shaky is the Lonely Dog Gallery. How are you? I'm good, thank you. This place looks extremely interesting. Well, it's the work of Ivan Clark, um, New Zealand artist, and we've been here nearly two years. He started with one painting of his little dog looking sad when they went on holiday. Uh, it was a Van Gogh lookalike and painted for his children. Seven years, eight years later, we had all this work. All right, well, let's have a look at his world. Lonely Dog is a moving story of an orphan hound growing up in the whimsical world of Alvridge. It's attracted huge interest from art collectors and people walking into the gallery. Developments are now underway to take the world of Lonely Dog to the big screen. What a weird and wonderful world Ivan Clark has created. I suggest you come and check out the intricate bronze casts and prints. I'd worked up a bit of an appetite, so I headed for high tea at the Britomart Country Club. I sat down with Nick to talk about the newly opened venue. All right, so this is high tea. Yes, this is the Country Club high tea. It's something very reminiscent of what our grandmothers would have served us up, and it's sort of place with that afternoon tea or morning tea thing where you get something savory and something sweet as well. It's quite nice to have a little bit of cheesecake and bring back lemmingtons. What exactly is a lemmington? I've seen them. They look quite cute, actually. Like a lot of sponge. That's basically what they are, a sponge with uh, chocolate icing or strawberry Green, icing. Strawberry one. Yeah. And coconut on the outside. Besides the beautiful high tea, is there any other food you serve here? And then we also do a full pizza and antipasto menu as well. We serve all night, so we're open from 12 p.m. right through to 12 a.m. There you go. So the, the drinks munchies. and the pizzas. Yep. What is the concept behind Britomart Country Club? The area or the space was sort of being developed first by the owners and they were coming up basically with an idea of an industrial garden in the city. Ideas really came that it was going to be sort of an ironic take on something quite lush downtown area of Britomart. Thank you so much for having me, Nick. No this worries. This was beautiful. Mm. I actually can't stop. But um, I'm going to go shopping next, so any recommendations? 
Yeah, definitely. I recommend going and have a look at the Laundromat Boutique, which is just around the corner from us. And then after that, if you feel like another sneaky wine, there's a great wine list at Agency Merchants, which is just around the corner from them as well. Perfect. Might have a nap first. <laughs> With my appetite satisfied, I was in the mood for some shopping. I took Nick's advice and headed to Laundry Map Boutique. Raw and uncultivated is the essence of the Laundry Map brand. With its big industrial style, stripped back brick walls, and huge recycled timber display tables, it's able to offer up a generous serving of street culture, fashion, and art. The heart of the fashion offering is the high-end streetwear label, Federation. Known for its bold graphics, quality cuts, and meticulous detailing, Federation is one of the world's hottest streetwear brands. One of the must-haves in any city is a great place to have a drink after work. There is a neat variety of bars to choose from in the Britomart area, including this one. Located on the corner of Key and Gore Streets is the 130-year-old headquarters of the Northern Steamship Company, which is now home to a big, beautiful public house of the same name. Inside, you can enjoy one of the nine max brews on tap, as well as the lunch and dinner menu that can be enjoyed anytime. over to Rue Kai Lane, which houses Agents Emergence as well as Racket Bar. I sat with Michael King to discuss the uniqueness of the laneway. So the laneway is an up and coming new area for bars and restaurants. Talk to me about that. So we have these very lovely little bars here. It's a great little space. It's quite intimate and friendly. We try and offer a very professional service, but at the same time it's really relaxed and unpretentious. So people can just come here and we get all sorts. We get uh, younger people, suits, uh, people that are just finished at the office, and they all get on, which is quite nice. These two bars feel like, very westernized to me. They feel very New York and very something very different than I've ever seen in New Zealand before. Yeah, these two bars have been here for two years now, and the whole Britomart uh, precinct is definitely one of the new areas for Auckland, one of the hospitality hotspots. And we're very lucky here with our two little bars. They've two very distinctly different styles. You've got agents and merchants, which is uh, tapas restaurant, and we serve lunch during the day, coffees from seven, and then racket bars, more sort of a New York speakeasy sort of slash Cuba feel about it. Earlier on in the week, it's a lovely chilled out environment, a great place to bring a date and snuggle up here by the fire with a drink, and you can have polite conversation outside and smoke. And then later on in the weekends, like on Friday and Saturday after 11, the energy lifts, uh, get a few more young people in, and there's a lot of people dancing in both the bars and sometimes out in the lane as well. And I also like that you were saying that you hire some internationals to bring that hospitality edge that's kind of still lacking in New Zealand. Yeah, exactly. We're trying to lift the bar, I guess, with uh, hospitality standards in Auckland and then, I guess, in the whole country as well. And people that have travelled extensively know what good service is. But it's basically just been very sort of personable and caring about people. As the sun sets, I begin to look forward to a great night out at one of Britomart's many bars and clubs. But first, dinner. I'm drawn to a cute candlelit eatery called Cafe Hanoi. The Vietnamese restaurant is inspired by the flavors and elegance of the Hanoi's old quarter. I join a friend to see what all the hype was about. a great name for itself in Auckland, and I can see why. The food has its own creative beauty, but keeps its authentic Vietnamese roots. The exposed plaster walls and simple but elegant decor make this the perfect atmosphere. Drinks and staff were amazing, and I would thoroughly recommend the Cafe Hanoi experience. After dinner, I pop across the road from Cafe Hanoi to Smith Bar. Known for their great selection of delicious cocktails, 
Smith's low lighting and sexy atmos is the perfect rendezvous point for friends before going out. I was lucky enough to have Steve help me make my own Cosmo before I sat down and soaked in the vibe of Smith. What are your favorite cocktails here? Because there was a cocktail named after the, the Smith bar. Yes, we've got the Smith I Am. It's one of our house cocktails and is incredibly popular. It's got um, ginger, coriander, lime, passion fruit vodka, and it's topped up with ginger beer, and it's just amazing. I really feel like the Smith Bar is more of a place that you come, you unwind, you relax after like a big Friday, and then you kind of it sets the tone for the rest of your weekend. Definitely, we get um, a lot of people that come in after work to unwind, just relax from work, and then we get people coming out that want to have their night out, but before they go and rave at all the clubs, they just come in here and have a nice quiet drink and get into a good mood, and then take that energy out. Well, yeah, because it does feel like, you know, like you said, your grandmother's living room. It's quite a beautiful little spot. There's some really comfy couches. And I do make a mean cocktail, if I do say so myself. You're amazing. I know, I could take your job. <laughs> Watch out now. <laughs> Once again, just a short walk across the street, and I'm at my final stop of the day, 1885. I grabbed a drink with a friend and prepared to dance the rest of the night away. 1885 is a sophisticated, multi-level bar accessed off a private laneway behind Custom Street East. They have an impressive cellar wine list and cocktails created by some of New Zealand's best bartenders. Almost every night, 1885 has evening performances from jazz, soul, blues, and funk musicians, followed by an assortment of late night DJs. The atmosphere was electric, and it was a great way to finish a long day at the Britomart Precinct.